Hello, hello, this is Camby Comer, and today we are taking a break from the horses. Oh yeah, this is episode 47. Uh, yeah, we're taking a break from the horses. We're going to finish off the Calgary Tower today. Completely done. So you can see I've already done some work. I've replaced all the red wool with the red stained clay all the way around the edge, and I think it looks quite a bit nicer. Um, the wool, I always like the color where is this zombie oh over there okay I always liked the color but it looked funny to me having all this supported on wool I know uh, it makes no difference in minecraft physics but it always kind of um it always bugged me a little bit and I'm just gonna grab I have some ice around here somewhere need a couple of those um yeah so got all that replaced um got a bunch of this replaced and uh, let me just block this off um, I've been doing some work up in here um, so so to finish off here we have to I have to replace all that which I did I have to replace this which I did and then uh, the rest of the work is gonna be in the shaft of the tower moving up to the top um, but I didn't like the ladders uh, going up here and I didn't want to have a sign here or something holding the water that I could see so um, instead and I'm actually going to break a couple of these ladders here I want to switch this over to be on this side instead but uh, this is just kind of a little idea I had where if you want to do a water drop or um, you know a hidden entrance like this I mean it's not hidden really but I didn't want to see the ladders so if you want want it so uh, you don't see any things it's kind of seamless uh, you just put some ice in here let it melt from the glowstone there and uh, it should provide there we go that's all melted and since I got the the jump boost beacon here I can jump uh, the necessary blocks to make it into there and swim up through it um, so that's my safe drop. You can't really see it from back here. Pretty seamless. Over here, still waiting for this to melt. Um, so as long as I don't update any of the blocks around the edge, like the glowstone, I don't place anything below, anything above, don't break any of these blocks on the side, that'll be fine just to stay like that with no updates. And I just have to wait for this to melt. Hopefully it'll be soon. Um, I had the ladder up the back side, but I wanted to move it because when you come in and jump, you're kind of pushing against this wall here. Um, and uh, with the ladders on that side, I kind of got stuck underneath them. So I figure if I put them on this this other side instead, it'll be a little bit easier to get up. Okay, there we go. Just melted. So jump up and then you just climb. So uh, beyond that, um, I, I stopped the red wool right here. Um, not red wool, the red stained clay. Uh, I have an access door out to this area, kind of a maintenance door, a maintenance hatch. Um, nothing really changed out here except that I have the ladder shaft and the safe drop, the safe fall with the water break all the way up here. And then uh, this side I have just a way to go back in and drop back down so that's that um, so uh, yeah put this on the outside um, and here's a oh wait I need a, I need another iron door here uh, here's a little trick I don't know most people probably know this but um, you know I had this door here at first uh, let's see which way do I want it I want it this way oh no all right it's on this block so I had it and it's opening that way which isn't really ideal because then I have to go th around the door to get through it so uh, one thing you can do is you can uh, you can use the double door technique here um, let's see I think I gotta place it this way yeah and then if I break this one and place it from this side it'll hinge the other direction so uh, yeah instead of it opening like this one it opens the other way so you can get through it nice and easy so that's just a a little trick I'm sure most people would know that but maybe some people find that useful 
So I got the shaft going all the way up, got it lit, uh, and I use stone brick here on the inside, and then on the outside I use just the plain stone, and that's kind of because it kind of feels like you're climbing up the uh, inside of the shell, the, the the shaft of the tower there. So this ladder, of course, goes all the way up. Well, it doesn't quite go all the way up yet. Uh, let me just climb up to the top of the chicken farm. So we're going to have to have a little jog in it. Um, and a little jog in the safe drop. So we get to the top here and we're on top of the chicken farm. And then the rest of the ladder and safe fall are going to have to be going up closer to the center. Because, of course, the tower slowly works its way inward. And uh, this would only be able to continue up. Uh, to there, I don't know if you can see that, to right up there before I'd have to move it in. Uh, so, I think I'll probably just bring it over right here, um, and then I can have access out to this area if I ever need to. You can hear my chickens in there. And then, of course, we gotta go all the way up to the top. Long climb. Um, and then up here, there's a whole bunch of work to do to get it finished. Um, and there was a, something I forgot about. I have a bunch of lamps around, like a big ring of lamps around the top of the tower. And I have to uh, finish things up up here so that they can actually be lit. You can see them right along there. There's a ring that goes all the way around. And I want to hook all those up to daylight sensors. And then, of course, there's some finishing work to be done up here. Yeah, I still got all my buffs. Um, I was tearing this center piece out. This, is, of course, is part of the defunct uh, chicken farm that's no longer in use. And then, of course, I got a bunch of debris left over from construction I got to rip out. So I got to do some finishing work up here. And, of course, rip out all this red wool and replace it with uh, the red stained clay. So hopefully that's not too difficult, but we're going to get all this done in this episode today. Um, so I'm going to get to work right now. Well, I'm working on the ladders up, uh, up to the very top here. And uh, it's not, not too much progress to show, but there's something kind of weird going on here. I think there's a skeleton on the outside of the tower here. If I get too close to the outside, he keeps shooting at me and hitting me. There, you see that? What kind of crap is that? <laughs> Where, I, I guess he's just on the other side of here, and if I just inch to the outside... Let's see, right there. Garbage. Total garbage. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I got the ladders uh, coming all the way up to here. I got some stuff cleared out at the top. I got access out on top of here. Uh, nothing too special. Um, we're getting up near the top, though, and, you know, got to finish the shaft off here. And actually, I built this without any of the lighting in it, so I'm going to have to tear that down and try again. But, uh... I guess I can finish building this up. This goes all the way up, just like this. So we're making some progress, and uh, soon it'll be time to getting on to some interior work in the top, which I don't in expect to be too special, uh, just because it's not likely going to see a ton of use up here. Um, but I got to put something in here, because it, you know, it's a big space and it's there and. Uh, yeah, so we'll do something cool looking, um, but I'm just going to finish off here and uh, just got to finish putting in a few ladders here. I was kind of doing work my way down type deal with the ladders and then that skeleton started shooting me through the wall, so I thought I'd bring you in and update you. And uh, before I cut here, I just want to say, I'm sure people have noticed before, you know, if I type stuff would be getting cut off before or if I had the uh, F3 screen up um, you know some of the stuff over on the left was getting cut off and you might notice I have a couple things over here I found a little mod um, and I hope nobody gets upset about this it's just 
a very simple mod that allows me to run the game in windowed full screen mode that's that's the only purpose of it um, and the reason I got it is because I was getting really tired of uh, you know having stuff cut off in my recordings but running in full screen uh, the in-game full screen uh, that's built in to the vanilla game just wasn't working for me I tab out of the game a lot to check on things do little research uh, you know check on my recordings it just wasn't working out uh, with the in-game full screen because every time you tab out from there it um, you know it resets your status there so um, let's see I'm going to end up having glowstone right here uh, yeah so I I found the mod um, it's working out very nicely and it allows me to run the game in windowed full screen and um, yeah it's, that's all pretty much does but I like not having to having part of my recording cut off and I'm sure you guys appreciate it too so uh, I think it's a great mod and I can put a link to that mod in the description there's a thread on the minecraft forum if anybody else is curious about running it or you know wants to run it great for doing recordings um, so yeah I'm gonna cut here get some more work done and we will be back okay uh, this episode is probably gonna be cut up into a bunch of short clips like this one but um, I got two rows uh, replaced with the stained clay here I think the color is good got the uh, ladder and the safe drop all the way up to the top here so we can see how quickly we can make it down because I want to go well I need more uh, stained clay uh, I have hardened clay didn't bring any of the red stuff uh, but yeah I need to get some more of that and I want to see how we're looking on the outside so let's take a quick trip over to 14 Wall Street which uh, is another project I want to get working on again really soon um, so yeah let's let's head over there real quick and uh, take a look at what we've got done from the outside see how that stained clay is looking compared to the wool I hope I hope and I believe it will be looking quite a bit better but uh, well let's maybe we can um, maybe we don't have to go all the way to 14 Wall Street but I need some ender pearls I could have gotten some but we were still in the Calgary Tower but I forgot so just grab some here and uh, ah, it's getting night time we can go up into well maybe we can take a look at it from uh, falling water up here whoa 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 what is okay <laughs> alright yeah let's take a look at it from up here so uh, can I make that oh come on oh I think we did it okay perfect so let's take a little sleep here haven't gotten any further in here since last time but um, another project to be worked on shortly uh, yeah so let's parkour our way up here oops missed that one man I love jump boost have I said that before okay you can't see can't see anything from here so I guess we are heading over to 14 Wall Street Oh my, okay, good. I ended up in a good spot. I got worried for a second there that I was going to hit one of the holes. Um, and if I hit hit one of these wrong, that would be it. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we're climbing all the way up. A lot of ladders in this episode. Um, so yeah, replacing all that wool with the stained clay. i uh, got to put another portal in just going through a mental checklist of what's left to do um, gotta do some finishing work in the top there uh, and I don't know maybe today I can get a little work done on the tunnel I want to dig through the mountain leading to the Calgary Tower right now it's uh, you know it's just kind of the front door leads into the side of a mountain and uh, the plan has for a long time been to put a put a a tunnel through there and um, that's still my plan but uh, yeah let's okay we should be able to get a good view from here finally and of course I really want to get started on this I have a pretty good stockpile of of uh, 
of quartz, yes, quartz saved up. And wow, that, uh, you really can't notice a difference at all. <laughs> it looks the same, but I'm going to go ahead with it anyways. We'll, uh, <laughs> I'll finish up replacing all the, all the wool over there. But geez, uh, there's not really any difference at all. Well, it's still better for uh, the realism of it, so we'll, yeah, we'll finish it off. So this is what I was talking about. The entrance comes out and leads right into here, but I've, I've always had a plan for a tunnel going through here, so maybe we get to work on that. But let's go back inside, and I will pick up my stained clay, which, well, it's all hardened clay. I have some I have some uh, dye around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> I'll get back to work. Okay, I've been doing uh, a lot of work at the top of the tower here. You can see things have changed a lot. Uh, put these two, uh, I guess, kind of balconies around the edge here. Um, got some wiring done up around the bottom there that will control all the redstone torches on the outside that just provide that accent lighting and I almost got all the lamps wired up uh, from these daylight sensors and I'm just gonna wire up the last one here uh, I obviously have a lot more than I needed I technically could have gotten this all done off of one but uh, uh, the Calgary Tower at the top here has some kind of dark colored um, circular things at the top. I don't really know what they're for, um, but they're there, and I, I couldn't get an accurate count of them just because, well, actually I need to do this, just because I could not find a picture of the Calgary Tower from above, so... Uh, I, I counted as best I could, just uh, extrapolating from a uh, count of, you know, half of it. So I believe there's probably about 12 on the tower. So I put 12 in here, and uh, yeah, let's get this last bit wired up here. Now, it's kind of tricky getting over to, uh, to the spot here. We can, whoops. Yeah, if you go into your inventory while you're shifting and then come out, you're not shifting anymore. Yeah, I just got to kind of st stair step down to where I need to be. So I believe, yeah, one more. So bring the wire down like that. And then, uh, okay, I got one there, there, and there. And then put a torch on right here. So that inverts the uh, the sensor up there so during the day it detects daylight and sends a signal down turns the torch off and at night it allows the torch to come on so when the torch is on it can then light up the lamps now the next part is uh, I have to get the wiring to all of them and it's um well it's not really too tricky but there's a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a trick to it I guess so because I can't run wires along beside them, I have to use repeaters to get power into each one. So I, I got kind of a little wiring pattern here. The first one lights up those first three lamps. Second two here will get to the corner. So we just run our wire like that. And that gets us to the corner. And then we have to, uh, we have to get over to here right actually no we come to here right to there so we bring the wire along like that and this actually doesn't need to be there I'm trying to keep the uh, the wiring um, surface to a minimum and then we bring it over to here put a repeater there and that gets those two and then this one here is already gotten, but I just run the wire along anyways. A little redundant, but that's okay. So that's done there, and then we repeat on the other side here. So, uh, let's see here. Right there, I believe. Like that. And then, oh, I didn't need that wire there. Give me that back. Okay, we'll run like that. 
and then like uh no we did need that one whoops like so and one more here and bring the wiring along like that and okay so all the lamps here are wired up can take down this scaffold now and then the next step I need to get uh, the nether portal in here and then I also need to bring some uh, some power down from the top all the way down to this ring here so that's gonna be a little bit tricky but uh, I think I can work it out so I got I'm gonna bring these up a little further I think I might put in one more floor at this level kind of and I'll just cover this all up I'll put the nether portal down here not sure if I have room and then there will be uh, this side here is probably gonna have kind of a pillar going up and then we'll have to work out how the ceiling is oh yeah and one other thing these uh, these daylight sensors um, because they are transparent um, to light they allow full light through during the day it actually gets pretty nice and bright in here so maybe I'll try to uh, leave those uncovered but I have to kind of tidy up all the rest here cover up all the wiring and stuff so I got some more work to do yet um, so I'm gonna get on that okay I have the uh, the portal set up at the top of the tower and I will now attempt to prove to you that I do in fact know what I'm doing when it comes to setting up portals so if all goes according to plan this left portal should take us to the top of the tower this right portal should take us to the bottom of the tower and uh, you know even though I said I know what I'm doing I'm prepared to cut and reshoot this if it doesn't work out properly okay yeah that uh... wow okay uh... <laughs> oh man well I don't even know what to say about that that is so unexpected that uh... I'm gonna leave this in I have no idea what just happened why did it bring us here? Oh man. I'm gonna take this out and see see what changes. Oh, I hmm. I'm at a loss. Okay, that is right. Now is this gonna take us to Well let's let's find out I guess. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That took us to the bottom, as expected, and uh, fingers crossed, let's hope the other one takes us to the top. Okay, try this one, come on, come on, ah, oh, bottom again, I guess it wasn't quite far enough over, um, you see, the bottom, uh, the bottom portal here is an X coordinate of negative uh, 1396 so we divide that by 8 and we get uh, negative 174.5 the top one is about negative 175 so uh, I might have to split the two in the nether apart just a little bit to get the results I wanted but uh, yeah let me do that and then I swear this will work this time. There's nothing stopping stopping me from hooking up these portals properly besides myself this time. So uh, just give me a second. Well, <laughs> it turns out that I don't know as much about nether portals as I thought. I have a new idea for that, but for now, this portal's just going to stay here, not really hooked up to anything. But I did get some more redstone stuff done. So you see I got some uh, one wide, one by one vertical downward wiring coming down from the uh, daylight sensor there right beside the portal. And that comes down and I had to do something a little bit tricky here because I wanted 
all the torches on the outside to turn off at the same time. I want it to be nice and synchronized. So uh, the last block, instead of pushing down directly to this wire and using repeaters to extend the signal over, I have it pushing down so it powers the redstone on top of this block, distributes the power sideways. Uh, this doesn't connect because these are stairs. Uh, block it off there. Actually, I don't need those there. They're just for light to keep this bottom area lit up. Anyways, repeater pushes it through that block there. Over here, again, doesn't go down because this is a stair. And then through this block, down finally to the uh, loop of wire. And that extends all the way around just to the back. I'm actually not sure uh, how how close it is to not making it. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we could go one further. But it just gets there. So that is done and I think the wiring is pretty much done up here now I just gotta finish things off a little bit you know skin out whoops <laughs> skin out the portal um, get some stairs going up get the ladder here finished off I uh, didn't bring any red clay so I'll have to get that but yeah I have a, a new idea for what I want to do for my area of the nether where I distribute my portal's out to everything, but uh, it suddenly turned into a large project, so we'll have to leave that for another time. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to finish this off. Maybe I can put some lighting in there instead. Trying to get it uh, nicely finished in here. I think I'll leave the walls pretty plain, like this. Um, yeah, this area is going to not really have much in it. Stay pretty plain, but I want some... Uh, some stairs going up the side here up to the next level have to get those in um, yeah so getting there but a uh, little bit more work to do before we finished up here but I'm gonna finish this up before I end the episode alright well I just finished transporting the last of the crap from the chests they were just sitting all over the tower back here and uh, I have these uh, materials here these should finish off the last bit of the tower and then we can check it off so yeah I just dumped everything <laughs> in chests over here I moved the mess uh, but the tower is basically complete and uh, a couple zombies followed me in here we'll take them out first goodbye okay good now uh, yeah let's just patch up the uh, spots where I took those chests out and then we can do a quick tour of the finished tower before we check it off the list so let's see here we have sandstone sandstone like that and then hmm let's see here like this I think hmm maybe it'll look better like that uh hmm can't really decide except the fact that it's covering up this part here now um hmm let's see we're we gonna want to do it like huh no I think it was okay like that we'll uh try it out like that I guess looks all right and then fill this in whoops too high oh you know what I need some glass panes or at least one darn I didn't bring that um so let's see match it up we need to go like so and like so I think that's got that. I need to grab a glass pane. I can't leave it unfinished to check it off. All right, let me let me see. This should just take a second. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got everything finished at the top. It's pretty. I mean, it's not plain per se. It's just there's not a lot of things to do up at the top. You can get a nice. Why am I having trouble opening chests? I gotta relog. 
I don't really understand it. There we go. Now I can open it. Alright, we can make a, a pain here. And I lost my train of thought. I think I was talking about... Oh yeah, the top. It's just... It is pretty plain, but... um. I don't know. <laughs> you'll, you'll see it. It I like it. I think it looks good. So, uh, alright, let's fill in that gap. Okay, that's done. So, the tour. Um, well, let's start down at the portal. So, you come out of the portal. Uh, we'll make this the quick five cent tour. We've got an enchanting table here. Bookshelves get us to max level. Right here we have a crafting table nice and flush with the ground furnaces we have our uh, our anvil re uh, automatic anvil refilling station right here uh, here we have item disposal anything you don't want you can just toss down in there let's say some rotten flesh it sucks it up when you close it up you can hear it ticking it's shooting the items onto a cactus getting rid of them uh, we got ender chest here um, over here we uh, we need some ender pearls. We have an ender pearl station right here. Hit the button. They pop up through the floor, and you get a stack of 16. We also need some food. We have a food station here. I uh, see it's already refilling with chicken from the cache in the back, the store. And uh, over here we have spot to refill the ender pearl station. Just throw uh, ender pearls in there, and it will fill it back up. And this light right here, when it turns off, it indicates that we're getting low on ender pearls. So that's uh, that's everything down here. Move up to the main floor here, and uh, it's a lot of stuff just for looks here. Um, got some nice foliage and and stuff. Um, here we have a three by three door. Not my own design. All the wiring is hidden underneath here, um, but it works good. Closes fast. I like it. Uh, go up the stairs, at, or, oh, actually, here, there's a couple things here. Here's a water source in the form of a fountain. Here is uh, item drop-off pad. Anything you want to send to the future storage room, just throw on there, and it will transport it over. Um, and now we can move up to the top here. We have multiple staircases. Uh, here we have, well, I was building this in this episode, so we don't have to look at that. Uh, we come out here, we have, whoops, we have the, um, the fully automatic chicken farm in the shaft of the tower here, and, uh, yeah, that just, uh, gives me cooked chicken all day, all night, transports it through this pipeline down to that, uh, chicken pickup chest that we saw, and, uh, this is just the safe drop there, so let's continue up the tower, and, um, yeah let's see so yeah there's not a lot up there um, I think it looks really nice I was able to hide a lot of the wiring um, yeah it, I, it looks good it's all nicely lit up gives you a nice 360 panorama of the landscape um, so it's it's great to finally get this done what are we episode 47 I started this tower in episode 1 so it's going to be great to check it off. <laughs> Finally. So, uh, here is just an intermediate stop in the uh, the ladder. Out here we have the top of the chicken farm. We can access it for maintenance. Down there. It's, it's a long way. We're, uh, I don't know, maybe two-thirds of the way up. You can see the underside of the top there. I took out all the dirt platform, the, the safety platform. So, let's continue up up the ladder here and uh, well, maybe we can get a little bit quicker maybe if my aim is good my aim is terrible <laughs> yeah that didn't speed things up at all uh, so it is safe up here now I was having to fight mobs every time I came up before so we exit like this We've got some nice red uh, stained clay accents. Uh, it's well lit up here. Nice bit of uh, foliage here. And this is what the rest looks like from down here. Nice and open and airy and bright. I really like the way this column turned out. That is, uh, it kind of reminds me of a game of Jenga, actually. It's kind of interesting. It's just, 
you know, full blocks with uh, slabs, oh, full blocks with slabs in the corner, and then stairs around in a ring, and just repeat the pattern going up. So we have a nice stairway coming up here, and uh, come up here to the second floor, get a nice view of the surrounding area, and uh, there's 14 Wall Street, project I hope to be working on shortly. We can see the Campanile from here, not a fantastic view, get a little bit of a view of Venice, way off in the distance. I uh, have some more staircases going up to the second observation platform. And, uh, yeah, not as good of a view from here, but that's all right. And got, uh, yeah, nice uh, foliage, leaves around the top, hiding the, uh, the ring of lamps and all the wiring. You can just maybe see it. I uh, got these angled bits hiding the wiring coming from the daylight sensors and uh, just finished off the middle top with a nice lamp there so that's about it for the tower um, I'll have to be hooking up oh yeah the, the portal is around here I'll have to I have an idea for how I want to do all this stuff um, how I want to get the portals all worked out in the future but uh, that's like I said a big project um, so yeah, let's uh, let's head back down and we can head to the checklist and check it off. So that's the first safe drop and then you back up and go down the second. And we can go down to the portal. I could have taken the portal from the top. It does hook up to the nether. Um, the problem is we can't get back from the nether to the top for now. But we'll get that worked out. So we'll head out here. Uh -huh see the horrible mess I've made of the nether it's just it's awful uh, trying to get portals linked up um, yeah I thought I knew what I was doing I didn't quite have all the uh, the information I needed to get that done properly but um, I do now so I know what I'm gonna be doing doing in that future project uh, with my I guess I'll call it my personal nether hub and, uh, oof. Well, ah, oh, come on. Alright, up to the checklist. So, let's see here. Alright. Nothing yet. Okay, that's done. Finish interior of the Calgary Tower. We can check, check that off. I don't think there was anything else. Uh, well, we have all our beacons. We can check that one off. Um, got a good supply of diamonds. Good, good, good. Um, okay, I think, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, so, Calgary Tower finished. Completely done. Checked off. I hope you guys like it. I'm happy with the way it turned out, and I hope it was a good episode. I think I showed some neat little tricks and stuff and uh, yeah some cool building techniques anyways thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time